Let's make a quick click of our muggle technology there. We're still figuring some of this out. It's so much easier to just use magic. However, we are limited in our resources, so the muggle world is where we will function tonight. My name is Professor Carr. I am filling in for Professor Snape, and this is Professor Trelawney. She is going to be here assisting us and working alongside of us as we make some magical potions and brews that will hit all the right spots and all the right places and cure what ails you. Um, to start, we're going to start with a diffuser blend that we call pumpkin pasties. How do you feel about pumpkin pasties? Oh, doesn't everyone love them, darling? I would hope so. I would Straight hope so. Straight from the Hogwarts Express. The only <laughs> place to get the best pumpkin pasties. The best. There are plenty who would try to imitate, but would never, never be the same. Never be the same. So, um, before we jump straight into the diffusers, we're going to tell you a little bit about what we're here to do. We're going to talk essential oils and natural solutions and magic potions that are good for the entire family. Uh, men, women, and children alike all love all of these things that we are going to bring to you tonight. Now, we will say that we are not doctors. Nope. Nope. She's a doula, <laughs> and I'm a health and wellness educator, and that's what you get, and a couple of magical beings at that. So, <laughs> we're not doctors here to treat or prescribe or diagnose anything. Oh, we don't actually have magic either. Yeah. That's just pretend, too. Sorry. But, that's done. Now, reabsorb the magic. Take it back in. Here we go. Back to the magic. Uh, also, we will only be discussing Young Living essential oils, and that is because... Young Living is the highest in standards when it comes to essential oils, and the seed to seal promise is what got me, like, sold on Young Living essential oils. There are lots out there. Oh, absolutely. You've been to Walmart lately? Well, maybe not at Hogwarts, but <laughs> Hogmart? I don't know Walmart. what they have at <laughs> Hogwarts. Um, but you can get essential oils at Walmart, and let me tell you, you're going to get what you pay for. Maybe yeah. four dollars, but you may regret your decision after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> They're not therapeutic grade essential oils. Um, last thing, there will be trivia questions all throughout the class tonight, and we can't see everyone's answers because we are dealing with muggle technology and it is what it is. Um, but if you will answer those questions, either use the Zoom chat or the Facebook chat, wherever you may be, and I'm not answer, sure how efficient an owl would be. Please don't send don't it send by an owl. owl. Yeah, no, we have a lot of hawks in this area. Yeah, it would be an interesting combination. Um, so answer your trivia questions as we go. There are points to be awarded. There are house points, so be sure to include your house when you answer the trivia question as well. And if you're not sure, scroll back through the event and you will find about how to figure out which house you are sorted into at Hogwarts. Do you know your house? I'm a Gryffindor. Absolutely, and I am a Ravenclaw. Um, I think you would be... Like Gryffindor is one of it's for the brave, right? But I think you also. I have, think I'm like a Griffin Claw. Yeah, you have some serious Raven Claw qualities yeah. about you. So I'm Raven Door. Raven Door. I'm not sure which I like better. <laughs> I am a Slither Claw. Like I'm kind oh, of a yeah. Slytherin Raven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I birthed the Slytherin. I am pretty sure you did. It. I have a Hufflepuff, <laughs> and I married a Hufflepuff. I married a Hufflepuff too. That's so, an interesting yeah. world. So go back and figure out which house you're in, so you can get points for your house. There are prizes to come. Uh, one of my favorite prizes we're giving away to the person with the most correct trivia answers are these Magic for Muggles recipe cards. Now, I haven't opened this pack to show you, but Professor Trelawney here will vouch for me when oh, I tell you. Oh, so pretty. They are beautiful recipe cards. Some of the ones that we're using tonight, uh, you'll find those recipes plus more in that po uh, package. So, yeah, these are by Astro Barn Design. Just yes. to give a shout out to the designer. That's right. You can grab those. Uh, I found them on Etsy, um, and so you can get them on Etsy. Uh, you can also find them on Instagram and send them messages. Um, and you can Google the answers. If you're not familiar with the Harry Potter world, it's okay. I'm not going to know. It's fine. <laughs> Google it. Get it in there. Um, that'll be great. All right, so I know you're ready to see what we have in store for you, so let's get started. We're going to start with our Pumpkin Pasties Diffuser Blend. All right, here we have our Aria Diffuser from Young Living, and it's very magical. So we're going to use, um, I use, we use what we call Berkey water. It's filtered water. Um, it's very nicely filtered water because tap water has a lot of issues with it. It's true. Funky issues. Our water here will leave limestone deposits all over everything. Oh, I gotta put the oil in. Yeah, put the oil in. <laughs> it's not gonna smell very pumpkin-y. No, it's really not. I'm very excited yeah, about this no. diffuser, though. Um, so while, uh, let's see. 
I'll hand you the oils, and I'm going to talk while you fill them. Okay. You can tell us what you're putting Sounds in there. Sounds good. You go. I'm going to start with three drops of clove. Um, when you use a diffuser, you're using your oils aromatically. It means you're breathing them in. And so when you breathe the oils in, you're hitting a very specific part of your brain called the limbic system. And that system, what's next? Three drops of cinnamon. Okay. That system in your brain helps control memory and focus and your appetite and learning, uh, your emotions. All that stuff happens in the limbic system of the brain. We've got two drops of orange. Okay. This is going to smell so good like fall. Um, and the reason you would use a diffuser blend like this is just to make your house smell good. But also these oils have therapeutic like activities in your brain. So when they hit that limbic system, they're going to make you think happy thoughts. They're going to help you to relax. They're going to energize you, all those good things. And I just did two drops of nutmeg and one drop of ginger. Awesome. One ginger spice. <laughs> And what's interesting about these oils, uh, if you heard what she was using, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, orange, all of these oils you find in the spice aisle, not as oils, but as spices. So that tells you that they have some other therapeutic benefits, right? If you can get them in the spice aisle, they're going to have similar benefits. You're just going to use them differently. Um, all right, you ready for this? What's our spell for this one? Um, pumpkin pasties diffusimus maximus. That side. There you go. My magic wand didn't work. So, he also, this little diffuser comes with one of the premium starter kits with Young Living. Um, as you can hear, maybe, uh, it plays a little tune. You can turn the music off. It has an aux port where you can plug in your iPod, um, and it has, so it has a speaker that you can use. Um, it also... I was trying to turn the volume up. I think I turned it off. Oh, there, <laughs> there it is. is. You hear it? It chimes. It has other sounds, um, I'm pretty sure, built in. You can change the medley. Um, you can also change the color of the LED. And so that guy at the bottom. Um, so it has multiple color functions and it's just very magical. magical. I love it. I can see the future. <laughs> it's looking pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> now, here's a fun fact for you before we move on. Even if you don't have a sense of smell, essential oils can work for you, can they not? It's true. How do it's we know? It's true. It's not COVID related, I promise, but <laughs> I can't smell. I don't remember ever being able to smell. And so that's a fun fact about Professor Trelawney here is that I have anosmia. <laughs> and yet um, I feel all, I reap all of the benefits. Now, depending on your medical issue, if there are other reasons you don't have a sense of smell, um, as far as the way that your body works, you know, we're not guaranteeing that this is going to be right. restorative for everyone. But in my case, I get all of the benefits of diffusing, yeah. um, just without the pretty smell. Yes, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> it's a little know. disappointing. <laughs> I'm really sad you can't smell right now. I'm picking up on big time orange and cinnamon, which is one of my favorite combinations. Um, but yeah, so what happens is the molecules you have, I don't know if you can actually see the, um, mist coming out but there are molecules of essential oils leaving the diffuser and you inhale them and they're going straight to your brain so that's where you're getting your benefits from when you are diffusing your essential oils and that's good for breathing issues mm -hmm. and all kinds Absolutely. of good stuff um, Absolutely. not just your brain all right so while this is diffusing shall we move on to our next favorite yes, one but we need to slide this over so we have room to work yes so. Let's scoochy scoochy you the future waits for no one that's all right our next recipe is one that we're going to be enjoying for the next little while, and I'm sorry you're not here to have it with us, but you can make your own. We are making butter beer, all right? Um, have you ever made butter beer? I have, not this particular recipe. There are several different are lots, recipes out yeah. there, yeah. Um, my favorites, we went to, we call it Harry Potter World, it's actually sure. Universal Studios, but the only reason we went was for the Harry Potter uh, exhibits and what have you rides. Um, and their frozen butter beer is the best. Oh, yeah. It's so like a slushy, icy type. Yeah. It's so good. So good. We did it with um, cream soda, so it was fizzy. And that oh, was really see, good, too. I like, the, I like yeah. the idea of fizzy as well. So we're going to use caramel topping. He's over there. You know what? I need to disappear real quick and grab. Do we have a spoon for him? I, think I don't think so. Okay. Just when I thought we were prepared for everything. This is just regular Hershey's caramel ice cream topping. much of that uh we're just going to spoon it into the mug so it's about two tablespoons yeah. it's you know depends on your 
I guess sugar tolerance. How much you want in here too? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there you could make it with, like she said, cream soda. You could. We've also got a uh, butterscotch uh, syrup that you can put in instead if you'd rather the butterscotch. Mm. I'm just gonna kind of all of that around a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh -huh. And then we're going to use one to two drops of our cinnamon vitality essential oil. Now, I'll tell you that mine is not cinnamon vitality because I didn't have one with the white label. There is zero difference in the oils in the white label bottles and the oils in the colored label yes. bottle, bottles. Thank you. Do you want one or two? Uh, two, please. Um, what happened was the FDA said you can't have an oil that is both topical and aromatic and internal use. So. Young Living said, well, we need to make sure that people understand that these oils can be used for um, internal use. They can be ingested. Uh, and so we came out with what was called Vitality Oils. <laughs> so any oil in the white label with the name on it can be ingested. All right. We're going to use our vanilla one teaspoon-ish. There it is. I would just kind of eyeball it. That's like a capful-ish. me with your best shot. Oh, your muggles have the best music. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to add a little bit, we're using coconut milk. Give it a good shake if you're using enough milk because it all settles. It'll just be better. Mm -hmm. It says about eight ounces Woo! of uh, milk. My milk got a little excited here. <laughs> you can use any milk you would like. Um, this is just the one because we want to go light on the dairy. Um, not everybody processes dairy the same. And we've already got dairy in our whipped topping that we're going to use. It's true. So now we've got this little uh, mixer upper thing. A little milk frother. Yep. Action. We're going to froth it up. Froth it real good. Fresh batteries makes all the difference. It's true. And if you just break the top a little bit, you'll get a much thicker frothiness on top. But you definitely want to froth it really well because that oil needs to be able to um, mix in. You don't want it just settling on the top. It's a little weird. I, you have some tingly lips afterwards. You would have tingly lips afterwards. That's probably good. I'm good with that. Awesome. All right. And while she aerates, This really is only eight ounces in this ginormous knife. <laughs> so she wants you to believe. I'm going to take my whipped topping. It is whipping cream, uh, powdered sugar, and I used a couple of pumps, actually I used like three pumps of uh, butterscotch syrup that you would use in your coffee. Um, and I just mixed it until it became fluffy, all right? Um, I licked my spoon and then I used it, is that okay? That's okay. We <laughs> share DNA. Sisters, it's fine, it's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> That's my bad, okay. I licked my spoon already too. Perfect, so we're even then. <laughs> It's so, so hard to resist. Mm. All right, shall we try this? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, that's really good. It's very fall. Oh. That cinnamon in there. I put that in coffee. Ooh, yes. This is not only butter beer, but butter beer coffee creamer. <laughs> we have come up with something new. That's I fantastic. Would. Let's yeah. do this in the morning. Okay, please. absolutely. <laughs> we got plenty of whipped cream. Right. Left. You can't let the kids see it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna enjoy That's this. That's delightful. Mm. Oh my. That is really good. We didn't try any of these things before we got started. No, we like, didn't. No, like it's... the recipes like this. We uh, we mm -hmm. know the oil recipes work. Yes. We didn't know about the, the tasty ones. ones uh, man. Woo. Ooh, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we should do that more often. Yeah, we should. Okay, so as you have your butter beer and you're waiting for the next thing, I want you to answer the following trivia question. We're not gonna tell you the answer, but here's your trivia question. You ready? You wanna ask it? Sure. What is the name of the sweet shop at Hogsmeade? Mm. Mm. I've been to one. They have very interesting candies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, do they have the secret passageway though? Like the tunnel? It was not there. I didn't see it. Oh. Well, been. I mean, it is in the back stock room. Yeah, guess. they wouldn't let so us in the they wouldn't let you go through there. I didn't have my invisibility cloak either. So <laughs> this, this number. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I <Sybil>. love it. <laughs> I'm not as colorful as she is. <laughs> It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So as we enjoy our butter beer, the next thing we're going to make is called Accio Fall Spray. Now the spell Accio uh, means to bring forth, to summon. Okay, it's a summoning spell. 
uh, and we are going to summon fall with the scent that we put in our spray. Now with this spray, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the ingredients we're using. Um, first of all, we're using oils and we're using liquids, right? They don't mix. Water and oil don't mix. Uh, so in order to mix them when you're mixing essential oils uh, and you want them to stay in the air longer, the best tip I can give you is to try using the highest proof alcohol, vodka, that's supposed to be scentless, as you can find. The Everclear is like 190 proof, um, and it should put your oils and water it together, mm -hmm. so it, it binds them together. All right, so you could also use special denatured alcohol, like that's what they use in hand sanitizer, sure. uh, but it's kind of hard to come back, and especially right now, it would be really hard to come back. And there are all kinds of really adorable yes. bottles out there. Yes. A dark bottle, an amber or a blue, is going to protect your oils from breaking down sooner. Yep. I mean, I know I use mine pretty quickly, so yeah. that's not really an issue for me. But if this is something you're going to give as a gift or something you might want to make a bunch of and kind of stick in a bathroom to have mm -hmm. on hand, a darker colored bottle is going to protect that so that it lasts longer. So that's why these amber ones are so popular and they just look they very cute? Hogwartsy. And this shape is so great. I love the shape. It's that was so what sold me on them. It's and so cute. we're doing four ounces. So these are four ounce bottles. So whatever you hear us say, you're going to like double if you want more mm -hmm. or cut in half if you want smaller. Yeah. I, I mean, and I suggest going small for the sprays um, because they're so easy to just make yeah. more of and you can change your fragrance more often. Though, yes, right? and you don't have to so. buy a new bottle. You yeah. can just wash them out yeah. and let them dry. All right, we're going to start with six drops of cinnamon bark oil. We love our cinnamon, especially this time of year. It's such a fall like smell. And so we love cinnamon. I imagine that Hogwarts must just always smell always like fall. Always smell. Or Christmas. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Like Christmas it's got spirit too. all year long. All right, and then five drops of nutmeg. Ten drops of tangerine or orange. We're going for I'm, citrus. I'm going with tangerine because, okay, so I can't smell, but I read about the smells, and mm -hmm. I read that, I've always read that tangerine is sweeter. It is a little bit Smelling, mm -hmm. and I also prefer it, if I'm gonna put it in my water to drink or something like that, I prefer it over the orange. Yep. It tastes a little bit less like an orange peel. Yes, it does. It, yeah, and that's because that's where the oils come from, right? When you're looking at citrus oils, they're going to be cold pressed from the peel of a citrus fruit. Your oranges, your tangerines, your lemons, your limes, that kind of thing. So uh, you want to, if you're going to ingest them, which there is a, a tangerine vitality oil, which any of the citrus oils are going to be fantastic for helping you purify your body. Um, so that's good. But be sure when you do ingest your citrus oils that you are using glass. Yes. Smell like Professor Trelawney now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she is um, adding uh, three ounces. Uh, nope, I'm supposed Ooh, to. Uh, I got that mixed up. It's three ounces of water. She's going to take of... a swig real quick. Sorry, and guys. then we're going to do guys. one ounce of vodka and three ounces of our Berkey water. Did that completely backwards. All is good. Again, remember your vodka is completely um, all, all optional. You don't have to use it. It will just disperse your oils uh, into your water and spray more evenly and stay in the air longer. It's a little tip and trick that I have used over the years. A lot of times your bottles like this come with these tiny funnels too, which yes. is really helpful. All right, I'm just gonna fill the rest with the water. That should, that should do it. Problem with the dark bottles. It's hard to see, isn't it? That's a little bit more. Silly. All right. Now this spray is one that you can use on your furniture. You can use it uh, just in the air. You can put it in your bathroom. So you know your guest bathroom, that kind of thing. Um, when you have guests come over, they can spray the room, and it'll smell like fall um, when they leave out. And then, anytime I make a glass bottle of any sort, I'm going to make a label for it. One, it keeps up with things much easier, <laughs> and two, it's just cute. And so we made one that says Akio Fall Spray. And yes. a little tip, this is just a paper label, so really easy to make. But um, if you craft at all, then um, you can get clear vinyl 
at, you know, Hobby Lobby, Joanne, wherever, and just put a little layer of that clear vinyl over the top of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just kind of helps it if it, you know, you have any drips down the side, your face yeah. label will last a lot longer. Yeah, because, you know, it's just a laser printer, and so that toner, as soon as it gets wet, it's gonna... It'll also just look everywhere. really cool, and everybody will be like, where'd you get your professional label? I love these labels. They look so nice. <laughs> That'd be great. Made it on Microsoft Word. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what all the professionals do, right? <laughs> yeah, and so Aggie will fall. Rumen Cauldron Spray. Awesome. It's so cute. It's so she great. Sniff it. Well, Made it. I'll sniff it, I guess. <laughs> it's also alcohol, so. Oh, mm hmm. That's pretty. That smells good. It actually kind of smells like what's going, almost like what's in our diffuser. Oh, it's similar. Very similar. It's very similar. Mm -hmm. so. But the tangerine gives it a totally different smell. That's fun. I love it. Ah, awesome. Okay. So here is your trivia question Harry wins a vial of potion from Professor Slughorn. What is the name of that potion? Maybe you'll get lucky with this one. Oh, <laughs> handing out hints. I hear that. <laughs> it's a good one. That's one of my favorite parts. It is so good. Yes, it, it really is. So is. I mean, if you haven't read How he uses it is actually my favorite yes, part. Yes, it was actually yeah. took a lot of forethought the way, the way he used it. It really did. You need Harry to was smarter books. than he gets credit for. Sometimes. <laughs> it's true. It's Sometimes. True. Um, okay. So the next thing we're going to make is called the Dragon Tamer Roller. Uh, this is for the ladies during the time of the month when it's very easy to let the dragon come out. You know what I'm talking about. This oil is a blend of fennel, clary sage, marjoram, lavender, blue yarrow, and jasmine essential oils. And it is appropriately named Dragon Time. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. It's a very pretty. I do love it. It's a very, and it's a pretty soft smell. Like it has a very girly smell to it without smelling like perfume or flowers. Like it's, I love it. Listen, and as a doula, I deal with a lot of hormones. Um, and, keeping, and not just her own. Not just my own. Uh, keeping those hormones in check is really important. Now, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you do need to be careful with any of the hormone balancing oils. Yes. So any of these that are in Dragon Time, there there are lots. There's lots of information out there. Make sure you're getting good information and using these wisely. If you are using any kind of oils while you're pregnant, dilute, dilute, dilute. Your skin has a much higher absorbency rate when you're pregnant, um, and so everything is going to affect you a lot faster and be a lot stronger for you. So be sure that you dilute more than you normally would. Ching ching. So I keep her around. Yeah. She knows things. Um, so while she is filling, she is going to put, I believe it's 15, 15 drops of Dragon Time, five drops of lavender. The lavender is just, it accompanies the scent nicely. Um, while she's counting out drops, I'm going to tell you about the oils that are found in Dragon Time. These oils are um, packed full of phytoestrogens, okay? Uh, phytoestrogens, they're estrogenic compounds. So when I say estrogenic, I mean uh, they mimic estrogen in some form or fashion. Uh, and they are found in plant material like essential oils. They serve as a balancing factor for hormones uh, because they either, depending on the need inside the body, uh, they either boost estrogen levels or they lower estrogen levels. And that is one of the most amazing things to it me really about is. essential oils is how they enter the body with one goal, and that is to restore balance. Uh, when you use synthetic materials to solve a natural problem, you're giving your body a very limited solution. Like it can only do one thing with what you give it. Things like medication, they're what you call monomolecular. They have one track, one purpose, that is it. Uh, and they fit a single keyhole. But essential oils, they are polymolecular. They have multiple molecule, uh, molecular makeups. And they're like a skeleton key. They fit where they're needed. They seek out the path that needs the most help, and that's where they go, and their goal is to restore balance. So rather than just eliminating symptoms, like you would use, you know, mitol or something else, I probably shouldn't say that, but you know, like your monthly issues that you try to cover up, um, the oils are gonna go to the root of the problem, and it begins working there to restore the balance um, of the whole system. In case, in this case, Dragon Time is going to restore the balance of your hormones, right? Uh, to put them back into the proper balance. And just so you see, so just like the spray bottles, you can get roller balls in all kinds of fun what? shapes and colors. A roller ball just has a little, this one is metal, which I prefer, Me a little metal ball in the end that rolls, so just like a ballpoint pen. Um, and to put that together, you don't have to worry about like using brute strength to pop that in. You just set it on top so it's lined up and screw that cap on. I say this and now it's like, you know, there we go. Yep. And it's in. And it's in. 
I just gotta get it all, all the way. way. <laughs> and my hands are oily because I dripped sunflower oil. Some, a lot so. of rollerball bottles come with these fancy little tools. You ever used one of these? I have to pop them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're you great. You can pop them off. It might okay. help to pop it on if it didn't nope. go on. All right. No, it mostly does. It... So you can shove that around the rollerball uh, and push down on it. It also helps to go around and pop them back up. Because uh, cause these are totally reusable, so you just kind of scoop that around there. Reusable, yeah. refillable, all those good things. And so, these are so cute. They have a little notch so where you can put a string through them and hook them on a bag or something. And every bottle that you see, for the most part, like the roller balls and the spray bottles, Amazon. Yeah. Like, the muggles have it all yeah. down with the Amazon. My little girls love these because they're fun, they're pretty, and again, for kids. Just oh, like pregnant yeah. ladies, Duluth, Duluth, Duluth. Duluth. Um, but roller balls are great for that because then they can do it themselves. Yep. And the roller ball, here you are diluting it, right? So it's going yep. to be diluted. You yeah, can, that was a 10 milliliter roller ball. Mm -hmm. so. so you can dilute even more and use less of the essential oil. Now, if you are beyond the monthly dragon, and you know, there comes a point in every lady's life where you move beyond the monthly dragon, if you are fortunate enough to do so, uh, but you're still going to face hormonal challenges. And with that, we have a serum called Progestance Plus. It is for those who have moved beyond or who need more help in the progesterone area instead of estrogen. Um, men, we actually have a Shutron if you're looking mm -hmm. for testosterone, if there's a, a hormonal imbalance there. So it's not just for ladies. You can go either way, right? Um, all right. Here is your trivia question for this recipe. What country does Charlie Weasley live in? Do you know why I chose Charlie Weasley for this question? Because it's really hard because he's the least mentioned Weasley brother. Also, is he not the one? Oh, he does! He trains dragons! He trains dragons! <laughs> <laughs> well he's played! Dragon I mean, when I read this earlier, I didn't make that connection. That's what it is. He's That's a dragon tamer, so you gotta figure out where does he tame those oh, dragons. Oh, interesting. And I doubt he uses dragon time to do it, but... Well, I don't know, the lady dragons. That's true, eh? It might... Okay, our next one is called Dumbledore's Beard Oil. Now, ladies, I hope this one is not for you. If it is, <laughs> you probably need to look into our Progestance Plus. Probably. Just saying, it's okay, no shame in the game. But this one, I don't know if any of you have a husband like mine who it says he's watching currently. I'm going to talk about him anyway. He began at the beginning of quarantine with a regular sized beard. And now, I'm telling you, it's a beard. It's like, out of control. Man. It is. It's a beard. And so we have to we have to tame that beard. <laughs> uh, just like I, we are pretty sure Dumbledore had to. I mean, he had a pretty respectable beard. I mean, he, how much conditioner did that guy use, you think? I'm telling you. So this, this is for the men who have a quarantine, shutdown, lockdown, whatever beard going on. This one's for you. So we're going to start, and also, I will tell you, the oils uh, that we're going to use, one of them is called cedarwood. That cedarwood oil is going to help even thicken your beard, you know, and make it nice and full and not, like, splotchy. So if you have issues growing facial hair, this will also help with that. Um, so we're going to start with 10 drops of cedarwood, which she just put in, 5 drops of tea tree oil, and then 20 drops of one called Northern Lights Black Spruce. And this one, it just smells good. It's very earthy and piney. Um, it just smells good and it's very manly. It smells better manly. Uh, we're putting it in a two ounce dropper bottle. You can make more, you can make less, however you want to do it. Oh, we um, got 21. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> that one's really, really good. It smells really manly. Um, <laughs> and then we're topping it off with the carrier oil called jojoba oil. Uh, this oil, he's got all kinds of health benefits outside of uh, hair and skin. But he is mainly used in cosmetics because he is so good for hair and skin. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it's oil, but it doesn't leave you feeling oily. And it doesn't clog your pores. That's one of the main reasons it's used in cosmetics is because it doesn't clog pores. If it's easier to pour it, we can use the phone. I think that's my next. Is it a four ounce? It might be a four ounce. Well, our recipe calls for it. Well, ounce, I'm only going to fill it halfway. We'll just fill it half, yeah. It'd be good. Awesome. Um... And this is going to help moisturize the beard, it's going to help tame the beard, uh, and it's also good for the skin because yeah. it's got the jojoba oil in it. Um, and that cedarwood and tea tree are great for hair anywhere. Yes. So ladies, if you have thinner hair on top, it can be great to put it in your shampoo. 
Um, be careful with that though, because it can kind of mess up the consistency of your shampoo. Um, but there are blank shampoos out there that yeah, are bases, bases, mm -hmm. yeah, um, that are great for adding oils to. Um, but that cedar was going to be really helpful. Um, tea tree is also great for those little itchy pests yep. that tend to crawl around during the school year. Yep. Um, it's also good for when your scalp gets a little dry and flaky. Yeah, I did that recently, only I don't think I shook my shampoo bottle enough. Ooh. Um, so my hair was very, very heavy that day. Um, so <laughs> well, shake, shake it more than you think. You need heavier hair. That's true. Time. That's true. It's very pretty. Uh, I don't know how she does her hair in the morning, but it should be. Easy. Does she do her hair in the morning? Mm -hmm. I don't know either. All right, you ready for your trivia question? Where does Dumbledore keep his memories? And it may not be where you think, because he doesn't keep them. He used them, but, but he doesn't, he doesn't always keep, keep them, them there. The so place. I'm looking for a very specific answer on that one. Hmm. All right. It ain't at Ikea. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Not at Ikea. You know that's right. All right, the next one we are going to make is called flesh-eating slug repellent. Ooh. Now, I've never had a flesh-eating slug on me, thankfully. That sounds pretty My dreadful. My kids still play with a slug yesterday. On our hurricane but it day, it did not eat them. That's fantastic. I'm glad to know. They did say they were saving the slime for some potions, though. Well, I'm sure there are some serious potions that can be made with slug slime. This one does not include slug slime. Instead, this is going to take care of the flesh-eating creatures outside that bug you uh, when the weather. Like we still have mosquitoes. Like I, I oh, went yeah, out to definitely. the chicken coop and there were still mosquitoes just two days ago. Uh, yeah. Maybe not now. It's cool now off it's nicely. Cool. Um, but, you know, late into the fall, we're going to battle the mosquitoes. Um, so this is going to help repel those pests. Uh, 15 drops of citronella essential oil. All right. I love citronella. And, and when just, I'm in a pinch and I don't have the spray, sometimes I just grab a diffuser and plug it in outside on the yeah, floor with the citronella Absolutely. in it. It works great. It does. And you could, if you have, um, like, plants sitting around, you can put it on, like, in the soil of your mm -hmm. plants and the moisture and the warmth of the plant will also diffuse it for you. Um, and then 15 drops of tea tree essential oil. Also 10 drops of lemongrass and eight drops of peppermint. Uh, and then we're gonna top it with witch hazel uh, just because it's a good uh, emollient for your oils, okay? Um, on top of that, I uh, will tell you that Young Living has um, an insect repellent that you can use on your skin, like you can rub it on your skin. I don't have that in my bag regularly because I don't like risking leaks, right? Yeah. Like that's one of those things I'm gonna, if I know I'm going to be outside somewhere, I will pack it. Uh, but for the most part, this will just fit in my bag and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. Now Young Living does have the wipes. That's true. And so if you're wipes. going to be somewhere that you, you know, you can't take a bottle or on a plane, if you're gonna be flying somewhere, the wipes are great. You can stick them down in a, yeah. in a bag. They're individually wrapped. They last pretty good, too. They right? do. Like I have one uh, yeah. wipe for two kids or something. Oh, you know? definitely. Like it'll, yeah, they last a good long while. I like that this has a squeeze top on it. Yes, I love my squeeze top. Uh, organic witch hazel. It's pretty there good. There. And again, you know, my pretty blue bottle at an Amazon special. And it usually comes in a multi-pack. Like they do. You usually get a multi-pack of bottles like this. All right, and then you're just going to shake it up, and then you can spray it on your clothes before you go out, if you're going, you know, if you know you're going out, that kind of thing. Yeah. Just spray great. it on your skin, spray it on your, you can, you can even put it on your pet's collar, honestly. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So, I do love a good insect repellent, or flush eating. Just like that. Are we ready for the trivia question? Trivia question. What class does Hagrid teach at Hogwarts? Mm -hmm. He does teach a class. Yes, he's, he's a good. gamekeeper. Yep. For his job, but he does, in fact, become a teacher. Yep, that's right. Um, and the reason it's called flesh eating slug repellent is because he goes out looking for yeah. flesh eating slug repellent. That's true. So, anyway, he just needed some essential oils. That's right. They're magic. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would have found a way to goof in some form or fashion. Oh, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. This next one I'm really excited about because I use this all the time. Um, in my own routine because sometimes there are days where I don't feel like washing my hair. I just don't. Like, I know I don't have that much hair to wash. I get that. But, like, 
I don't need to, like, I haven't done anything. I've been at home in my pajamas, and then I put on my afternoon pajamas. Like, you know, I don't need to, but at the same time, I need to do something because my head itches it's or whatever. True. It happens, right? We've all been there. Um, or you just, you wear your hat, whatever. This one we're calling flu powder. <laughs> it's really a dry shampoo, okay? And so we are using arrowroot powder. About a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some cocoa powder because we have darker hair. Now, I mean, it's getting pretty light. There are parts, yes. There are parts, if I were to get close to the camera, you would see that I might need less cocoa powder sooner than later. <laughs> <laughs> and the darker your hair, you can change the ratio of arrowroot powder to cocoa powder and add a little more to make it darker. So we're gonna start with about an eighth of a cup. So it's yeah. about two tablespoons, roughly. Um, and just go from there and see kind of what it does. Yeah. And honestly, because you're not just going to leave it there, you're going to like brush it into your hair and uh, then you'll kind of brush it out of your hair, that kind of thing. Um, I think if I can see from here correctly, as somebody said, y'all are cute. <laughs> I may have oh, misread that completely. Andy. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we tried. No. Um, so I love this box that you brought us to use. It it's so magical. It's super not practical, but it's not, but it's it so is so cute. cute. Okay, so it turns this nice, pretty, light brown color. Um, mm -hmm. And if you have super dark hair, you can add a little more cocoa yeah, powder. More cocoa if, you, powder. if it's you know, a little lighter than that, um, go less. And if you have blonde or gray, um, then just use you the don't need the, the, the only reason we use the cocoa powder is for so you don't have white patches in your hair to make you look gray or faster. Right. And just like we were talking about before, um, something like cedarwood might be something that you might like to have, but what we have is lavender and rosemary to add. So lavender is good for all skin, right? So you're talking your scalp and that kind of thing. Rosemary is actually going to help stimulate your hair follicles on top of that. So it's really good for growing hair, especially if you're, you know, having mm -hmm. thin spots or you just want fuller hair. Um, but even still, it's also going to help pull oils from your hair, which sounds kind of It funny. sounds crazy to find oil with oil, but it, it works. It does because it evaporates. This isn't like the oil mm -hmm. that's, it's not fat oil. It's not fatty oil. Yeah, like you're not putting olive oil on your head. Yeah. So it evaporates and it takes the oil on your hair and at the roots of your hair with it. And if you have a sister who's as awesome as mine and are looking for an awesome stocking stuffer, um, maybe some homemade dry shampoo and these awesome little brushes for it. Are they so cute? It's Amazon and I got both of them. I think it was like $5 for both of them. And, and it's, they're so soft and they just brush this powder like on my hand that just brushes it right in. They are just uh, supposed to be for acrylic perfect. nail powder when you do the nail, the yeah. dip stuff. So but it's, I kind, thought, of a, psh, it's, it's kind of the perfect powder. consistency. Yeah. I'm going to take out of the lid here. For that, yeah. And I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to put it right here yeah. at the roots. And I'm going to go back here because this is where mine is. Brush it in at the roots. Yeah. And I know we're kind of far away, but like I don't see powder in my hair. Yeah. I can feel it, right? But I don't see that it. The Trelawney scarf is a little bit in the way. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's great. It's and I'm going to do the rest of this later tonight and um, have great results in the morning. That's right. And so you just let it sit. Now, the best way to do it would be to do it the night before you didn't want to wash your hair, like if you knew. But you can use it at the last minute the day of. Yeah. Um, just it's, let it sit. Yeah. Brush it out. I like to blow dry it. Like, yeah. Put yeah. a blow dryer to it and get it and, out that way. Yeah. You know, a cute container is awesome, but maybe one with a wider mouth. Yeah, he would make live and learn, or you know, mix it in a big one. And then but if you're calling it flu powder, I mean, it looks. Do you know what flu powder was for? I don't know if they know what flu oh, powder that's was true. for. That's they true. used it to transport from fireplace to fireplace. It was a magic dust that they would throw into the fireplace, uh, and then they would say where they wanted to go, and they would end up where they wanted to go. But I can't say anything more because our trivia question has to do with what happens. So. Where does Harry land after using flu powder for the first time? I will give you a hint that it wasn't where he expected to be. That's right. And did you know that in the book, what he's, it's not really clear how he pronounced what he said. It's true. It's really not clear how he pronounced it, but the flu powder or whatever didn't understand him, so he ended up somewhere yeah. completely different. Yeah, I so, like how they interpreted it. In I did too. I did too. I thought that was pretty good. It was good. Okay, our next one um, is called Fernunculus Potion. Do you remember what the Fernunculus Curse was? I, like, I, I feel like I should have gone back and looked this one up because I feel like 
I have a picture in my head, but I'm not sure if it's correct or not. It was the pimple jinx. Right. It created pimples yes. on the face. All right. So we're calling this the Fernunculus Potion because it will help to clear your skin if you have been jinxed with said curse. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to use our alcohol-free witch hazel again. Mm -hmm. um, and this we're is going Thayer's to brand. Yes. Just if you're I wondering. love the Thayer's brand. It's as pure as I can find it. I guess the I really like reviews. the design of their label. Too. I love. It looks I mean, kind of potiony actually. Um, and then we're going to use five to ten drops of purification. This one is based on how you care about the smell. Like if you like purification, I'm iffy on it. So I would use less, and I would use more frankincense. So um, it's that's where I was going, just because I like the idea of it. So. Yes, frankincense. What it does is it allows more oxygen to get into your skin, and therefore your skin clears itself that way. It's also it's so grounding. So here's a tip: if you're new to essential oils and just trying to figure out what's good for what, anything that comes from a tree. So frankincense comes from a resin found in tree bark, um, and it's really, you should look up videos of how it's harvested because it's, it's so cool. cool. It's not what you it's expect. It's a long process. It's a very long process. But anything that comes from a tree, trees have roots, and those are going to be really grounding. So emotionally and mentally grounding, and those keep, those keep you rooted to the I earth. Like that's that. a great way to remember Ooh. it. Anything that's citrusy mm -hmm. and has that kind of fun light is going to lighten your emotions. It's going to be oh. uplifting and pretty. And then a lot of the florals, they're very feminine. They're also great for hormone balancing. That's and so right. that's just kind of a, a quick rule of thumb. If you're trying to figure out what's good for that. what, it's an easy way to remember that. I love that. That's so smart. See, another reason I keep her around. She's just she's she did so for something. Yes. Hey, I also had this pretty glass container. I love this glass container. <laughs> and like, it's it's so... just a bud base. It's a bud <sighs> base, and you can buy these cute little corks at Hobby Lobby or Joanne, because apparently I live there. Um, <laughs> and they, it fits perfectly. Oh. And so it looks kind of decorative on your bathroom mm -hmm. shelf or on your counter, wherever you keep your cosmetic -y things. And this is a great toner. Now, Young Living does have a couple of really good lines yes. of, of pre-made stuff. So if you're not that into making your own stuff, um, I like making my own stuff. I love I it. Customize yeah. it. Because more frankincense, less purification. Like, I, we yeah, can customize exactly, it Yeah, exactly, exactly. But there are a couple of really good lines. So the Art Skincare line. Yes. Um, here we've got this, the Age Refining Technology Art. Um, they have a line. There's a newer Bloom, Bloom. line. Mm -hmm. I really like the cleanser. That's all I've used of that. You know, one so I haven't far. used that one yet. I love the art. Like I I'm love stuck on the, the art, mm -hmm. and I still use the moisturizer. I don't know if I'm supposed to like cross. I don't know why you couldn't. I, but I do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's. I won't tell. Yeah. And if I would eat less <laughs> Halloween candy, then my face would look great. So. But because you have eaten it, you can take this, you shake it up, put your little cotton ball in there, and just like after you've cleansed your face, right, you wash it normally mm -hmm. with your cleanser, use this as your toner. It also pulls more stuff out of your pores. Mm -hmm. And then you follow it up with a moisturizer. We're going to make one called the Time Turner in a minute, but I always follow it up with the light moisturizer from the Art line. I like the light. The, the other is pretty heavy. Yeah, this is, I mean, because I don't have, I have relatively normal skin, but yeah. it would lean toward oily. So the yeah. light moisturizer is going to keep Mine is combination out. and I use the light. I think if you have really dry skin is when you need yes, the other. It's, yeah, because it's a lot heavier. Yeah. So I love it. And it's and so cute. It is so cute. You have to make a fun label for I it. I love how it looks. Yes, yeah, the label of the Eugenia like label. Ocean. <laughs> it really does. All right. Are you ready for your trivia question? All right. Who is in charge of the hospital wing at Hogwarts? Uh, mm, we were just talking about her earlier. I love her. She's she so is great. No nonsense and like. I feel like if I were going to be a character, she's who I'd want to be. She's not who I would be, but it's I would I would like to be her. She's very important too. It's amazing like, how many times those kids go to the yeah, hospital. Yes. Well, wing. and everybody from every side loves her. Like she's pretty neutral yeah, territory. That's true. Every so, house loves her, and yeah. because they need her. <laughs> well, and she cares for all of them. You know, you this see a lot true. of biases. In the teachers but this she's one who she just loves everybody and everybody so. loves her which is i mean like i said i don't think i would would be her but i would like to be her uh yeah i got the no nonsense part down it's the the yeah <laughs> that's where that kind of correlation <laughs> ends we'll just and moving on <laughs> next page <laughs> this one is fun because it's called the nearly headless nick roller and what this one's going to be good for is for anything that makes you want to take your head off because oh uh, tension yeah. or whatever is building um, it feels like your head is about to come off all right it's another rollerball bottle mm -hmm. we're gonna use Panaway and Panaway comes with a child safety cap because it does contain wintergreen which can be harmful to children and pets if ingested mm -hmm. um, if you shouldn't ingest it it's gonna come with 
That's right. Uh, a protect a protective layer, so you can know when you have the childproof lay, uh, cap. That yes. Hey, don't drink this. Yes. Um, it makes it much easier to discern which ones you should and shouldn't. So um, this one is going to be 15 drops of Panaway. Now you can use Panaway on its own uh, for very similar needs, if you will. Uh, we like to add some peppermint to it because the smell is, one, it's fresh, but two, peppermint will help open things up. So if it's not just stress related and it's like there's some tightness in the face or, you know, in the head or the neck, um, peppermint's going to help open and that up. I don't know about you, but when I get a little bit achy like that, I also tend to get hot. I just feel kind of clammy uncomfortable, and uncomfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, peppermint is great at cooling. As That's well. true. So it really is useful. very true. Um, if your body temperature is too high, you can take a drop of peppermint under your armpits because that is actually, I learned recently, behind the ears and under the armpits are the fastest route for oils to enter your system. Oh. Yep. If okay. you want a slow time release, put them on your feet. If you want a quick action, put them somewhere with thinner skin, like your armpits or behind your ears. Well, yours is where I put my um, seasonal challenge. Which is probably why Trio. it works so good. Probably mm -hmm. so. And so fast. Yeah, probably so. I don't know if we talked about this. We're, I'm putting um, sunflower oil in as the carrier oil. Anything that's not an essential oil that you put in to dilute or to spread, spread is called a carrier oil. Yep. Um, and that's gonna come up a lot, and I, I don't think we talked about that in the beginning. Nope. Um, so if you're not familiar with the terms, um, that's what we're doing. Sunflower oil is another one of those oils that's not greasy feeling. Mm -hmm. um, it's not heavy, so especially if you have, you know, if you get acne on your neck or something like that, this is gonna be good for that. So that's, yes. it's not gonna irritate that. Oops. And it has no smell. Um, and so it's not going to change the smell of your oils or anything like that. Uh, and the reason you would dilute an oil, um, there are some oils that when they hit your skin, they tingle, right? It's because they are entering your skin so fast because their molecules are smaller. So when you dilute the oils with your carrier oil, you're saying, hey, slow down a little bit. And then you don't have that scent. You can also spread it over a larger area. Quick rule of thumb, if it tingles your nose, it's probably going to tingle your skin. So if you smell it and get that, like, tingly sensation because like, even though I can't smell I still get that mm -hmm. um, then you'll probably feel it your your oils that smell very spicy like cinnamon thieves mm -hmm. uh, you know those kind any of, of your herby ones oregano rosemary, rosemary mm -hmm. um, those yeah, are, are going to be tingly if somehow you get an essential oil in an area your eyes up your nose other, other areas <laughs> Anywhere that you really don't want an essential oil, you can recover quickly with a carrier oil. It's going to help slow down and, and pull out the essential Spread oil. Spread it out yeah. further. So you're not going, I hate myself. Right uh -huh. now. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> I've gotten that text message. <laughs> From me. Um, so yeah. with our nearly headless Nick Roller, you're just going to roll it on your neck, behind your ears, on your temple, somewhere like that. And what I like about the smell is that um, it's refreshing. It's a very refreshing smell. It doesn't um, it doesn't smell floral, so you're not going to be annoyed by it, that kind of thing. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. This is a detailed question that probably you would only know if you've read the books. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you would. I don't, he's not in the movie. I don't think he is. Mm -hmm. Who is the Slytherin house ghost? And you know why I asked this question, because... Oh, uh, Nearly Headless Nick is the Gryffindor house guest. That's right. So, How can you be Nearly Headless? <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah. So, uh, Nearly Headless Nick, well, he's the ghost of uh, Gryffindor, Gryffindor, and then you have the Grey Lady, mm -hmm. who is the ghost of Ravenclaw. Uh -huh. And then Hufflepuff. who is Hufflepuff? <gasps> the Fat Friar. The Fat the Friar. I think you're right. Yeah, no, I think that's what it is. Good is. Uh, he's the ghost. Every house yeah. has their own little ghost that uh, yeah. is kind of like So who is line. Slytherin? We want to know who the Slytherin house ghost is. All right. Oh, I didn't finish my butterbeer before we got to I know. To this I didn't either. Like no, I'm just kidding. Fun fact, this is really difficult to drink out of. It's so big. <laughs> and this is so small. <laughs> It looks so heavy. I think it's just decorative. It's beautiful. It's though. so pretty. It's got the Hogwarts Express on it. Pretty sure she gave it to my husband. I think so, because so. y'all were, yeah. Um, it was one of the first Christmas gifts I think we did. Yeah. I love that one. Anyway. All right, so this one, we are making pumpkin juice. Again, at Universal Studios, um, 
they have pumpkin, they have like the three broomsticks and all that stuff. You can have breakfast there. My favorite way to drink pumpkin juice is hot. Like you can drink it cold, that's fine. They sell it cold and that, my favorite is hot. Like I will, I'll have my coffee before we go to the uh, theme park, but I am get like, I want my hot pumpkin juice with my breakfast, all right? So we've already mixed the, some of the stuff. We haven't put the oil in yet, but we mixed some of the stuff and it should be able to sit directly on here. Um, we're looking at one and a half cups of apple juice or apple cider. Now, I have apple cider and the Walmart people must really love me when I went for my pickup because they gave me caramel apple cider, Whoa. which I mean, that just makes it even Can't better. Argue right? That, right? <laughs> I'm not it sad about that. Uh, and then we added three tablespoons of a canned pumpkin puree, um, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And then we're going to add a drop of cinnamon bark vitality oil to our drinks. We have no idea if this is how this is going to work exactly. We're going to try it real hard over the pot there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. I love it. These little bottles are so cute. Does that make that? That makes things happen. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. That's okay. Psst. And it's going to be hot a little bit warm. We've had it on a warmer, but it's not too hot. I think it'll be drinking temperature. Awesome. Now you can totally add ice. You can, uh, uh, you could add ice to it. You can put it in the blender. You could, all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah. Too. So many options. So oh, blended. I bet that would be really good. I bet it would be too. Have your own little. Especially, you know, we live in the South. Pumpkin oh, juice for ice. You know. <laughs> See, and I like this over pumpkin spice. Like I do not love pumpkin spice um, as a flavor just in general like if i'm gonna order coffee it's not gonna be pumpkin spice but this very different. i do think there's a bit of a bad rap for pumpkin spice because um i mean it's not pumpkin it's pumpkin spice like, right it's, it's the, the spice of pumpkin so people are like pumpkin and coffee but it really doesn't pumpkin and pumpkin juice Mm, oh, that's, that's warm. good. Well, I think all my cinnamon was at the top. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, there it is. I hit it. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do, <laughs> probably want to use the frother in it and get your cinnamon off the top a little bit. Um, yeah, my tongue is tingly. And the way we're going to deal with the, the lips is a little bit of chapstick, you know, like our, yeah. our lip balm or uh -huh. a great Oh, fruit. man, Young Living lip balms are my absolute they favorite. They are amazeballs. Like, they are the smallest thing. My favorite is the grapefruit. I do like the grapefruit a lot, but I use the lavender because I don't just use it on oh. lips. So, like, the girls will yep. get chapped cheeks yep. in the wind, especially this time of year. And so I just kind of rub it on my finger and then rub it on mm. their face. Or, like, my youngest has real bad chapped lips down here. That is so I'll smart. Rub it on there too. So, it's, we don't believe in, like, single use, right? We're not going to single use anything. That helps Significantly better. <laughs> Ooh, that hit the back of my mouth. <laughs> I got right here at the tip of my lip. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, you can go over the spicy, tingly oils with your lip balm if you need to. Um, but you can chill this. It will get thicker. I will tell you that it will get yeah, thicker. Yeah, the um, pumpkin in it. As long, the longer it sits, the thicker it will get. So even if you made a lot of it, put it in the fridge and then blended it with mm, ice. So good though. Yeah. It's so, so good. good. It's so fall. Mm, so fall. Like I want a muffin that tastes like this. You're a baker. Let's get on. Let's get on that. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> okay, oh, here's so your trivia question. Right. Who was the landlady of the Three Broomsticks pub in the village of Hogsmeade? Kind of, it gets harder. Have you uh -huh. noticed my questions right, are getting a little harder? Well, because there are a few different pubs mm -hmm. and kind of places mentioned yeah. throughout the series. And so this is specifically the landlady of the Three Broomsticks in Hogsmeade. In Hogsmeade. So... Give that one a look up. Uh, I will tell you that I, I'm pretty sure Ron kind of was smitten, like how oh, yeah. uh -huh. I remember. Yeah, so, he totally did. Yep. So that might help if you've seen movies. Yeah. Anyway. All right. I kind of feel like Rupert Grant is who Ron would have turned into. Like the actor. I Rupert can see Grant. that. I can Like totally a little bit eccentric, and he probably would have come into money at some point and just been like, cool, let's buy an ice cream truck. Yep, and that sounds about right. So I think that was well casted. I like it. <laughs> of all the ones, he was definitely the best. Oh, yeah, yeah I agree. Yep. 
Sorry sure. to the rest of you, but uh, anyway. All right. But Next yeah. up, we are going to make Quidditch Recovery Muscle Rub. Now, Quidditch is a sport played in the Harry Potter series, uh, and it involves flying on a broomstick and throwing balls and hitting balls and catching snitches, all right? So there's a lot of movement and preparation for this, and sometimes your muscles would be sore after maybe practice or a mm -hmm. game. But if you're not maybe a Quidditch athlete, uh, you, will, you still have muscles, right? And those muscles are probably at times uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They may be a little sore, whatever. Um, if you use them too aggressively by, you know, helping somebody move, picking up heavy things, lifting propane tanks, whatever the case may be, <laughs> um, that your muscles have tendencies to be uncomfortable. Uh, with this magic combination of oils, you're going to find some relief and your muscles will be thanking you in no time. And the plus side is you're not going to be using toxic ingredients and you're not going to smell like the old lady on the back of the bus. Okay. Like, you know there is a, well, you may not know. There's a very specific smell to some I've of heard. those pain creams out there. This is not going to smell like that. It's going to smell much better. It's going to be much more pleasing. Uh, and you're not going to be using, like, I don't know, turpentine or whatever's in those muscle rubs that okay. give them such a powerful smell. So, fun fact, coconut oil, it melts really quickly. Yep. Um, but it also um, gets hard pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little tough right now. Um, so we're gonna do just a little bit and mix the oils in, and then That's we'll mix the rest the of it in later. The oils will also break uh -huh. the coconut oil down a little bit. That being said, you can store it in the fridge if you want it to remain mm -hmm. solid. Um, if I think it's, I want to say it's like 72 or 74 degrees is its melting point. So, so it melts very quickly, gets soft very quickly. So it can become liquid very quickly, but you don't want it in one of those containers for liquids because unless you're using the liquid coconut oil, it will solidify mm -hmm. and be completely useless. Now also this is, um, coconut oil. So it is heavier. So for lots of reasons, I don't recommend using it on your face. Um, it's also got paneling and peppermint in it. Which, as we've said already, are quite hot oils, yep. and there's a lot of it in here, so you do not want to use this on your face. And you don't want your kiddos to get a hold of it, so keep mm -hmm. it somewhere out of their reach, just like you would your medicine cabinet, because, you know, their bodies are smaller and react mm -hmm. differently than ours as larger people and grown-ups. So, um, 15 drops of Panaway, 15 drops of Peppermint, 10 drops of Copaiba. Copaiba is really thick, too. I love Copaiba, though. It's so a good. very... Like, it is good not just for aches and pains, but for overall wellness. It's super high in antioxidants, which we'll talk about later. Um, but it's really, it's good for you all over. But just don't panic if it doesn't come out fast. Um, because yes. it is a much thicker oil. And it even usually has a little notch you can see. Hole. Yeah. An aerator. An aerator. The air in. All right. And then lavender. And the lavender is really to cut the minty smell, honestly. It's also just really a relaxing smell. I mean, how many times have you been into any kind of salon or spa or something, and that's the fragrance yep. they choose? Um, it's usually more artificial. So I should have been working on that. I'm sorry. That's okay. Make me do all the work. I get it. I'll we see her. <laughs> we see her. <laughs> You're used to doing. We're all used the work. to being the grunts. Um, if you had the gift, you'd understand. Yeah. Um, no. It's fine. But yeah, I mean, usually it's a much different smell. So if you open a bottle of like good quality lavender, it may smell a little different than say, yes. you know, the lavender face mask you bought at Walmart. Absolutely. Um, you know, no judgment there. I get it. Um, but yeah. it's going to smell, it's going to smell different and it's hopefully more like a flower. More earthy. It's going to smell deeper. And I, the very first time I ever smelled lavender, we're talking like so I got my starter kit in 2013 is when I, I started with all this. The first oil I ever used was Stress Away. Do you remember the first oil you ever used? Um, I don't. I remember my first time using Stress Away and I way overdid it in the diffuser. <laughs> like I could barely wake it. up the, <laughs> the next morning. The first time I ever used Stress Away, and that was the first oil I ever used, way Felt overdid so it. so good, Woo, but body, oh like, man. Relaxed. But the first time that same day I opened the lavender and I went, uh-uh. Nope. And that lavender bottle sat on my shelf probably months before I ever used it. And I am not kidding. It is the one oil. If you if you have to pick one oil to ever purchase, like if you were limited to a single oil, it would be lavender that I would tell you to get. Yeah. 
because there's a reason they call it the Swiss Army knife. It is good for everything. Everything. You know, like my big fat Greek wedding. You put a Windex on, on it. it. No, you put a little lavender on it. Abs that's that's exactly what it I is. I almost feel silly when people are like, well, what oil do you use for this? I'm like, I know I told you lavender last time, but it really is lavender. It's lavender. It's always lavender. Like, that is a go-to oil. If you can't get anything else, lavender is the way to go. <laughs> you know, probably we could have mixed it in a larger bowl and transferred it, huh? All right. Pro tip. Mix it in a larger bowl and then transfer it because this is really a challenge. Sorry. I feel like she's just testing my knowledge of making things. And you know, I knew that. And I think I even thought it when I opened this tiny jar. What am I going to do with this? How am I going to mix, mix it in the cauldron here? And oh like, man, that would have been great. That would have been hilarious. But well, there you have it. There you now have you it. know, mix it's it in mixed, the larger. It's messy. Yep. Well, we're going to wipe the edges of that off before we put the cute the little lid. seal on it and lid. Now, we like to use airtight containers and we use glass because anything plastic, the oils are going to leach from whatever chemicals they can from the plastic. So avoid plastic containers at all costs uh, when you're using essential oils. It doesn't matter which oil it is, in my opinion. Yeah, any oil. Don't use Don't, plastic. It's, it's just safer. It is. I mean, generally, it's safer to use glass over plastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or stainless steel. It. You yeah. can pick it up stainless steel, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to stick this back in the coconut oil either. So don't no. double dip with your oils, especially if it's coconut oil you use to cook with also. You definitely don't want to double dip and then be like, why does everything taste like Lavender. Panaway? <laughs> oh, Panaway. Yeah, that'd be nasty. Ooh, that'd be bad. Uh, that'd be really bad. My uh, sense of taste works perfect. So. <laughs> she would know real quick that there yeah. was Panaway in her uh, food. Yeah. So we use, um... Oh look, it says right here on the recipe, put coconut oil in a stainless steel or glass bowl and add essential oils mixed together for three minutes. Place in and steal in a, seal in an airtight container. I wrote those down. Yeah. <laughs> I read them earlier, so... We're just We really so have no excuse. We're, we're just, yeah. Popped up on pumpkin juice. Right? It is pumpkin it juice is. and butter beer. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? All right. How many points? Here's your trivia question. How many? Here's your trivia question. Since you know this is Quidditch recovery, yeah. how many points do you get for catching the golden snitch in a game of Quidditch? The golden snitch. That's and that is what ends the game. Like if you that's catch right. that snitch, that is the end of the game. Doesn't mean you win the game. That's right. You gotta watch your points. Yep. So. But there's a set amount of points you get. So, fun thing, we have a fish named Steve. He's a beta fish. He's really pretty. And I really want to get a set of Quidditch yes. rings for his tank and then name him Steve Quaffle. Yes. Because then he'd be the Quaffle. He goes through the Quidditch ring. Ah. I think it'd be really do. funny. I'm getting Steve well, a Christmas present. Oh, okay. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have any sharp edges, we're good. Okay, He's... I can handle that. <laughs> I've never bought a fish a Christmas present. I hope he doesn't take it too Me like, neither. it's not too personal. He might need a bigger tank. You would probably need a bigger tank. <laughs> for my one fish. <laughs> serum we kind of mentioned it earlier um, this one is going to be a good moisturizer to use after you have cleaned your face and all that good stuff um, and this one has a very girly smell to it because it uses geranium I've turned the kettle on for our next oh, yeah, one I was wondering what that and so was. it's about to make a fun sound um, but we're gonna use a dropper bottle we're gonna use our jojoba oil again um, yep our little cute dropper you feel this. like a scientist or... that's right it's like a mad or, you know, a wizard. Or a wizard. Uh, so we're using 15 drops of geranium, and this is going, it's going to smell pretty floral. 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 Um, and geranium is also actually good for repelling um, insects. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Fun fact of the day. You can put it on your dog's collars, actually. Um, oh, it smells like so good. the flowers themselves, too? I would assume, right? I would assume so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 10 drops of copaiba. Again, it's good for overall health and wellness. 10 drops of frankincense. I mean, frankincense is a go-to when it comes to skin. Uh, it's good for like strengthening, tightening your skin, um, and for dealing with some of the creases that might have developed as we get older. Um, I really, it, it really takes my over-the-top levels down to... Um, like when I feel like everything is insane, I feel like frankincense just slows me down. Absolutely. Slows me Do you down. know why it does that? 
because it allows more oxygen to your brain. It contains one of the highest numbers of sesquiterpenes, which is a type of molecule, and those sesquiterpenes can cross the blood-brain barrier, and it allows, it carries with them more oxygen to the brain, and so your brain can actually... Is that not yeah. the funnest oil? Blue tansy. And I always forget, and I went, oh no, there's not an orifice reducer on it, but it's just black. It's blue. It's blue. It's, it's really dark a blue. beautiful blue it's color. So, I wish you could see the inside of the cat. I wish it's you could so smell pretty. it. Yeah. It's, it smells like uh, Skittles. It's a major component in both valor and peace and calming. Mm -hmm. um, so those are... Uh, They're very... Yeah. For your uh, emotional well-being. Um, yeah. Oh, also, one other thing frankincense is great for. So I have keratosis pilaris on my arms, the chicken skin is what you call it. Um, and it's really great if I exfoliate and then put frankincense in my moisturizer. It's fantastic. It yep. just, it, it clears it right up. It takes care of a lot of, it's anti a lot of things, a lot of bad things. So if you go do your research on frankincense and it's, uh, powers if you it's will powers. um like he is anti a lot of bad things and so. also a lot of people who don't know don't know like they just they don't know that they think it's just something made up that the wise men gave jesus yeah but it was given to jesus for a reason it's because it was super valuable because it's hard difficult to harvest yeah. and it has so many benefits Absolutely. it's so beneficial in a lot of ways definitely so, so this one it's really so. it smells so good it's really girly smelling but after and you've used your toner, shake that up and just apply it like you would your yeah. moisturizer. Also, definitely label it because now I'm going, oh, shoot, where's my other dropper bottle? That we made over here. here. Yeah. Also, he's blue when you take Oh, that will help, yeah. That'll yeah. Help. So when you look at the dropper, it should be blue. And for those of you whose nose work, um, oh, yeah. you should be able to see Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. It's blue. It's so pretty. So. And it will we'll label turn, your bottles, though. It, yes, and it will not turn your face blue. <laughs> You I mean, will not be a smurf. That would be day. awful. I promise. That'd it's not so food bad. coloring. <laughs> um, all, right, all right, here's your trivia question. Trivia. It's a multiple choice. Who said this? I am good looking enough for both of us. It wasn't me. A. Draco Malfoy. B. Ron Weasley. C. Jenny Weasley. Or D. Flor Delacour. Yes. So who said this? I am good looking enough for both of us. So A, Draco, B, Ron, C, Jenny, or D, Floor. Hmm. Can't even make comments about that. I one, know, but, right? Oh, so many funnies I don't want to say. All right, we've made it to our last recipe of the evening. We're oh, we need to drink this. We this. need to chug. Yep, we got more to drink. Mm. Too much. Woo. Okay, Woo. this is one of my absolute, they're all my favorites. I'm not going to lie. They're all my favorites. My um, sister is my favorite, because look what else she got us. I got us matching mugs. They say, Akio so oil. Cute. And listen, this time of year, this concoction is <coughs> going to be your best friend. Um, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It could be any time. Do you get that feeling? And I'm hoping it makes sense. Do you get that feeling, like, at the back of your nose, the top of your throat, where you're like, I could have a sore throat tomorrow? Or, uh, or you get tired and your voice. Oh, really? Like, just made myself cough. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretend coughing in it. Yes. Talking so, about it. Is. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those, and you might want to put the honey in first because the oils will sit in the honey better. Well, I was thinking I would like slosh it around. And, oh, okay. Is That'd that be good? Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's so, no right or wrong. Way. There's really not. There are easier and more difficult ways. <laughs> That's right. We've we've shown you some of those as well. Um, <laughs> On purpose. We planned it that way. That's right. We want you to know we're everyday people. What not to do. Like you. And don't do what we do. Do what we say. Right. Um, let's see. We've got hot water. That's a goose mix that comes out best. So. Okay. Well, I won't pour it until you're ready. So this, we're calling it the Grim Wellness Tea because I don't know if you remember the... Uh, the Grim? Professor Trelawney read tea leaves in the bottom of Harry's mug and saw the grim. And he which, was always going to die of something. Yep. Uh, and so that was, you feel like death when it comes to this point, right? You can drink this before you start getting ickies, or you can wait till you feel icky. Uh, that's when we normally use it. Um, sorry, is it? That's okay. I'm going to scoop it up because uh, it's crystallized. Yeah, he's crystallized. Which is still fun. It's yeah, and he'll melt in the, uh, yeah. So I mentioned a word earlier, antioxidants, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about antioxidants because, and how they work. Because honestly, until a couple years ago, to me, antioxidants was kind of a catchphrase, like it was mm -hmm. just a word. Yeah. Like, 
Everybody, and everything had antioxidants. antioxidants. Yeah, you need to eat oh, more. antioxidants. And yeah. I'm like, great, what are antioxidants? I don't know what that means. Um, and it was just a catchy word. And so antioxidants, I'll start with oxidants. You need to know that oxidants are free radicals. And what free radicals are... It's not just a British way of saying accident. Right. It's not an oxidant. <laughs> it's an accident. Oxidant. Uh, and they're called free radicals. Well, these are molecules that can come from anywhere. They come from the environment. They come from radiation. They come from stress, processed foods, viruses, bacteria, those kinds of things in your body. Even your, emo your own immune system can produce oxidants when it's fighting off bad things. So if our body is dealing with a virus or bacteria, for example, the immune system is set to release what's called reactive oxygen species cells or ROS cells, okay? And these are oxidants, but they attack the foreign invaders, okay? Um, and what happens is when they're attacking the foreign invaders, their goal is to restore balance. Well, if the body is dealing with a chronic inflammation, the immune system is going to unleash those same ROS cells. So if you're dealing with a sickness more than just feeling tired, your body's going to unleash all of these ROS cells, but they're not helping, they're attacking right they are on the loose in your body and so then your immune system is like do i fight the bad guys or do i fight the ros cells so what happens is your body kind of just gives up and you're sick all right whether it is a cold or whatever is happening arthritis those kinds of things uh and it can lead to damaged dna which is kind of an important part of your body it is. right your dna it is. is it's kind of who you are whatever so all of these oxidate, all this oxidation leads to accelerated aging and sickness. So antioxidants are antioxidants. And so what they do is they become a decoy. They're like, hey, bad guys, come over here. And when the bad guys come after them, they put up a shield around the cells and they say, hey, you can't come this far anymore, and they destroy them. So your antioxidants are going to boost your immune system. They're going to make you healthier. They're going to protect your cells so that you are better in the long run. So this wellness tea is packed with antioxidants. We have added thieves, which is a just blend. One just one drop of thieves, which is a blend of, uh, help me out here, cinnamon and... Clove and lemon and all kinds is of good it stuff. rosemary? Rosemary, yeah. So yeah, feel my up. fingers are sticky from the honey. Let me peel it. I don't I don't ask, I just remember that I, I like using it, right? Right. Um, let's see. Clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, rosemary, and those are the oils that are in it. So we have them. We're good. The eucalyptus was the only that one we That's pretty good. And then we're gonna add uh, three drops of lemon, which lemon in and of itself is chopped full of antioxidants mm -hmm. it like ranks way up there on the top so i'm sure you've heard when you cut if you cut an apple and you don't want them to turn brown you rub lemon juice on it because it's because it's oxidation preventing the apple from turning brown because it's preventing oxidation that's what it is when the apple turns brown it's oxidation and so lemon is super high in antioxidants and a molecule called d-limonene which you should go to my blog and read about because i wrote a whole thing i love d-limonene so mm -hmm. much i wrote a whole blog about it and i love her blog thanks it's the knowitallmom.info slash blog um, and then two drops of apple cider vinegar, and if you haven't, like... It might have been a little more than two drops, because that dropper came out really fast. <laughs> but it doesn't thing. taste vinegary. Okay. So. Well, I mean, this stuff, when, especially if you mix it with other strong flavors and such, and the honey and that kind of thing, it's going to kind of cut the vinegar. But this guy has his own little uh, history that you can go do your own research about. There he is, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. It's good stuff. And it just smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, like my nose wants to run just sniffing it, like... Now I'm unclogged. <laughs> yeah. Now I feel like I feel like I should be huddled under a blanket drinking this. Mm, that sounds good, yeah. but not sick. Not now, preferably not, not sick. sickly drinking it. So this is one of those things where Accio oils. That's what you got to remember. That that is your uh, spell when you're not feeling well. It's Accio oils, true. Uh, so that you can bring your oils to you. The Grim Wellness Tea. All right, here's your last trivia question. The very question. last trivia question of the night. Which of the following does Professor Trelawney not see in Harry's Tea Leaves and Prisoner of Azkaban? A, a cross, B, a skull, C, a falcon, or D, a club? Mm, that's that's also one. a hard one. Like that's very specific. To, yes, you have to know. So this is what she does not see. What does she not see when she looks? Mm. All right. Well, that was our last recipe. 
Thanks for watching us make a mess. I'm so glad that you joined us. What was your favorite? What was your favorite? Um, I mean, I think the butter beer, but I haven't been able to get to it. I know. Too much. No, no, I am really super excited about the Time Turner Serum. Yes. I think that I'm really excited about that and the toner. Um, those are probably the things I would use the most at my yeah. house. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think so. The flu powder is my the favorite. Flu oh, yeah, I am excited about the flu. I mean, I'm Mostly more excited about... Of the <laughs> So now I have a fun brush for my blue <laughs> powder. I love it. I'm super excited They're about so that. so amazing. Yeah. And they are so inexpensive. Like, That's geez, so great. Yeah. So I'm thankful for those of you who joined us live. Yeah. Uh, I am thankful for those of you who come back and watch us later. Yeah. Uh, we always have fun when we're together. There's never a dull moment. And you never know what's going to happen. It just is what it is. That's true. And I have no reason to dress up as a witch with my sister. But here we are. And, and yet this is like the fourth or fifth time I've dressed up as this Professor is true. Trelawney. We've not. This is not the first time uh. we made it. <laughs> Uh, Who needs a reason? Right. <laughs> it's Friday. Right. It's fun. <laughs> so it's fun. be sure to interact. Like we're going to go back through all any of the comments that are both on the Zoom chat yeah. or on the Facebook Live. So be sure you go through because you you want to win these. They're right? so cool. They're amazing. They're so beautiful. I'll, I'll try to maybe post a picture of the one, of the ones that I got to because uh, I got an unopened pack, but I had a pack that mm -hmm. I opened. Uh, We'll tally up the house points for all the winners and that kind of thing. There will be a recording. You can go back and watch it. You'll have about a week, you know, so maybe by next weekend we'll have a winner or two or five announced. I don't know. We'll see. However we're feeling. <laughs> yeah. um, if you would like to download the recipe cards, any of these, like I have put all of these recipe cards together in one document, you can head over to the knowitallmom.info. There's a link in the event on Facebook, and you should probably also have it in your email. It's called the Know It All Mom Hangout. You can sign up. It's free, and that's where I post all of these free resources. You can go and download. I think there's a whole, um, er, it's a free educational vault. Uh, I think it's called Essential Education is what it's called. And you should follow the link and see the download for recipe cards there. Um, if you're on, in the Facebook group, there's already a link to it. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. This is where we Thanks call it so a night. Much. We appreciate you and we hope that you have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.